Adobe may be doing everything it can to get rid of Flash without, well, saying anything specific about how they're trying to get rid of it. But one thing they aren't trying to sweep under the rug is their video editing software, Adobe Premiere. We use it here at Twit to edit our shows and publish out to your eyes and your ears. It's quality stuff. Well, Adobe finally released a mobile version of its editing software for Android, and it's called Adobe Premiere Clip. Now, don't expect a fully featured timeline editor here. This is specifically meant for the small mobile screen. The landing page is My Projects, and as you can see, you can tap the floating action button down at the bottom to create a new project and get started. A few options will pop up there. The top one takes you to your on-device gallery of media. The LR button imports from your synced Adobe Lightroom collections, if you have any. I do not. Creative Cloud for importing from your Creative Cloud account or your previous projects done here. And finally, this camera button for capturing a photo or video for your project straight from your camera. I'll select some media for my device and pick from two options here that you're given, automatic or freeform. Let's do automatic, which is how you let Adobe Premiere Clip take charge of your video. Your clips can be sorted in any order that you choose, and you'll want to pick a tune for your video. Now, this button right here lets you set the pace for the cuts between clips so you can slow things down or maybe speed them up if you want the overall pace of your project uh, to change speed. Now, if you want more control, you can switch over to Freeform. Here, you can do things like trimming your clips. You can adjust the look of each clip with exposure, highlight, and shadow sliders. There's also some useful audio settings for fades, of course, and smart volume, which acts as a leveler for your audio as it attempts to keep the level consistent between your clips. And as for the project itself, you can turn on the sync to music feature, which attempts to cut the video to the tempo of your music that you've selected. There are also filters for your clips here, and don't forget to go into the project settings and turn on crossfade between clips so the transition isn't so jarring. Finally, publish it out to a video file, Creative Cloud, maybe YouTube directly, or you can even send the project to your desktop Adobe Premiere Pro environment for further attention. Adobe Premiere Clip is slick, it's worth checking out, but it does require a free Adobe account to get started. Find Adobe Premiere Pro in the Play Store for free right now.